All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to some more Thumbleweed Park. Thumbleweed. Thimbleweed Park. My name is Raven from the Sky. Let's continue. As you can see, I have the fingerprint kit here. So real fast, you get it from over here, all right? For me, it was the bottom jar. It might be random for you, I'm not sure. All right, so what we're gonna do. There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. Oh my God, so where are we gonna get the tape? We need to get a print off it. I still have the brush, but no more fingerprint powder, and it's missing the fingerprint tape. Missing the fingerprint tape. Okay. Lots of medical books there. Wonder if it's in here. If there's anything in here. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. It's turned off. We should split up. <laughs> Duh. Oh, there's a speck of dust right here. Let's go ahead and grab that. I don't know what the devil we need all these specs of dust for. Ransom, what brings you here to darken my day? Finally gonna give me the scoop on your career meltdown? You tabloid hack. Why the f are you so interested in my story? I think it would make a great human interest piece. People love stories about washed up former celebrities. Not to mention it gives you a chance to get back in the limelight. Mm. <laughs> you know what? That's kind of true. Okay, let's do the interview. You won't regret this. I doubt it. So, Ransom, a few years ago, you seemed to be at the top of your game with a successful career. Then out of nowhere, you publicly crashed and burned, your former life suddenly a flaming wreckage. Tell our readers in your own words why your career hit the skids. I got half a mind to say this, but I'm gonna try to keep it clean and say- I made a lot of bad choices back then. I burned too many bridges, I let the fame go to my head, and life just fell apart. The problem with building a life as an alienating is that people are happy when you fall, and no one wants to help you up. I think our readers will really respond to that, Ransom. A question I would love for you to answer is, why don't you take off your makeup? Are you just a committed performer, or a performer who needs to be committed? Why don't you t <laughs> stop talking out of your pee pee? Uh, but I don't need to explain my art to these plebes. Honestly, I can't take the pee pee stuff off. Honestly, I can't take the stuff off. It's not so much as a choice as it is a horrible curse. Thanks to Madame Marina, you can take a belt sander to my face and the skin would grow back with the makeup intact. Huh. Not the answer I was expecting. Let's talk about happier times now. Tell me about one of the highlights of your career. Mm -hmm. 
one of these two. Not the cocky answer. Uh, well, one of these three, really. We'll probably go with... My Tonight Show appearance. I stuck it to Carson good. Stole that show. Fame is all I ever cared about, sweet cheeks. Okay. I heard rumors around town that you were planning to get a line of ransom dolls made. What happened there? I guess the dolls weren't marketable. Chuck Edmond didn't want to make them, and I guess he had a good reason. I mean, insult clown dolls are probably a niche market anyway. Uh-huh. Seems you have little to keep you here in Thimbleweed. Why did you stay? Right. It ain't so bad here. I mean, the town is full of freaks, but who am I to talk? The people put up with my and leave me to haunt my circus grounds like a cautionary tale. I could do a lot worse. That's sort of sweet, I think. So, Ransom, any big regrets? If you could go back, would you do things differently? I regret everything. Only trusting the wrong people. I did nothing wrong. It was all the fault of the morons I let into my life. My <laughs> ex-wife, my manager, oh my Franklin, Chuck. My life would have been have said the other perfect one. without those jackweeds. Glad to hear you're <laughs> not bitter about it. Finally, Ransom, do you have any big plans for the future? I'm gonna work hard, pay my dues. Gotta start from the bottom of the ladder and rebuild my reputation from the rubble. It's hard work, but if I really want my life back, I gotta put my ego aside. Well, that's admirable. I think that's all the questions I have. Thank you for your time. I'll let you know when the finished piece goes to print. Sure, whatever. Ransom, what brings you here to darken my day? Finally gonna give me the scoop on your career meltdown? You, tabloid hack. I think I left my hot plate on. Gotta run. It's a page from my joke book. It's my joke book, but there are four pages missing. Got the page stuck back into the joke book. Got the page stuck back into the joke book. Got the page stuck back into the joke book. Got the page stuck back into the joke book. Collect 20 more. Specs of dust. Right, so we're pretty much done with him then. Hostile takeover song. I'll have one of these hot dogs. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move them out. Let me get that for you. Eat up, hun, while it's still hot. Make that sick too. This hot dog is we... even worse than the food in the mucus phlegm lunchroom. I uh gotta go. Ugh. Oh. 
I feel better now. Looks like a much nicer place to be than here. Thimblecon 87. It's opening later tonight at the hotel. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Hi, Dolores. Welcome back to Thimbleweed. <laughs> Shame to hear about Chuck's death. He was a great man. Dude was charming and smart and full of integrity. Sure. Still working at the Quickie Pal, huh? You know it, Dee Delicious. I'm keeping it real here while I work on my inventions. You're an inventor? Well, not exactly. But once I figure out how to get what's in my head onto paper, I'll be just like your uncle. Right. <laughs> the town looks pretty dead now. I haven't been home in a while, and it seems like half the store is packed up and left. Yeah, there's a pretty gnarly ghost town vibe out there. But the diner is still open if you want to pay to lose your lunch. Uh, and the arcade is still going strong. How's your cousin doing? I heard he got into MIT? Yeah, he did. The total dweeb. I think I've beaten all the games in the arcade. <laughs> oh yeah! I think you still have the high score on most of the machines. It's funny. I don't get to play as many games now that I make them for a living. You work for Mucus Phlegm, right? Yeah. Bodacious. Why would you want to be like my Uncle Chuck? The man is my hero. He had it all. Babes, brains, and fat stacks of Benjamins. Who wouldn't want to be like him? Well, me, for one. <laughs> my uncle wasn't perfect. Uncle Chuck was human, after all. There's another side to the man he showed in public. Yeah, but I bet it was even more awesome than the one we got to see. I always wished he was my uncle. Although it would have made my crush on you in high school super weird. <laughs> Barf-tastic. See ya, Leonard. Come back soon, Dolores. Here's this tape right here. Looking right at me. Ah, uh, that tape is for official government business only. Okay, here we go. Excuse me. Be with you in a second. Yeah, I'm pretty swamped right now. How can I help? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the body out by the bridge? You're a federal agent? I work for Uncle Sam, too. As one government agent to another, I'll do what I can to assist. Okay, Thanks for your help. We'll be back if we have any more questions. Anytime. It's a sticky tape dispenser. It says, for government use only. Violators will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Well, since you're with the government, I guess you're entitled to some tape. Just go easy on it. We're almost out. Oh. <laughs> we got the fingerprints.
there's no more fingerprint powder left. It doesn't work in that. I've already dusted it for prints. All right, let's tell you what, we'll just head back. The prints are really clear. It only accepts fingerprints on official fingerprint tape. I still have the brush, but no more fingerprint powder, and it's missing the fingerprint tape. The label says Pillow Bear, the toy that can be turned into a pillow. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3000 compatible. Let's see if this will work. I like working a case alone. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3000 compatible. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. I put clothes. Yeah, let's walk off without the report. Put official fingerprint ID book, murder weapon fingerprint I'll put. Fingerprint on the murder weapon belongs to Willie T. Wino, the drunk. Oh my. Fingerprint report, blood report. And the face report. We have all three. Let's do it. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna switch to Dolores because she has the uh, what you call it? Insert three reports from the Bloodtron 3000, Fingertron 3000, and Facetron 3000 into the Arresttron 3000 to issue an arrest warrant. It doesn't seem to be working. Okay. I bet you we need that vacuum tube.
know Agent Ray. All right. Go ahead and use the tube here. That should fix it. There we go. Now. The trunk? It can't be. Get out. Lily Torino for the murder of Boris Oops. Oh, what have we here, Reno? Have our big city agent Reno actually solved the murder? I'll take that. Let's see what it says, Reno. Oh, blah, Reno, blah, Reno, oh, blah, Reno. Ah, Willie T. Wino. Just as I suspected, Reno. Yeah, I'll be right back. Willie, you are under arrest, Areno, for the murder of Boris Schultz. Who? What? Come with me, Areno. That's what I said. What? Well, Willie Areno, what have you got to say for yourself? I didn't do it. Oh, yeah, Areno? <laughs> These feds will break you. You want to close this case, Areno? Have at him. Okay. Who wants to play bad cop and who wants to play good cop? Um... You play bad cop. I'm the bad cop. And she's the good cop. <sighs> You're not supposed to tell him that. Well, I'm not good cop, bad cop. I did it, I did it! I killed the man by the bridge just to watch him die. Clear your conscience. Anything else you want to confess to? I also kidnapped the Lindbergh baby. Anything else you want to confess to? I'm D.B. Cooper and I stole all the money. <laughs> oh my God. Keep talking, murder boy. I'm Jack the Ripper. Okay, see. Anything else you want to confess to? I took the beef! Okay, that's it. I think we have enough to lock you up for life. You're going to the big house, Willie. Don't mess with the feds. I'm glad I caught the killer. And we can finally leave this stinkhole. That's not such a bad place. I learned a lot from working with you, Agent Ray. Yeah. I'll look you up if I'm ever at the home office in Albuquerque. Uh, there is no home office in Albuquerque. No shit, Sherlock. I was gonna say, I know that wasn't it. We still haven't figured out what happened to her dad. That's just it for as far as, let me go up to the corner. Yeah, the agents. So now we're just back to them three. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop it here. Thank you for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel and the series grow, all right? Ring that bell so you don't miss an upload.